interview from the paint in uh, the box. Uh, um, Forget um, and Throne, of course. Bass player. Zazas. Guitars. I guess we all have our different reasons, but mainly with this band, this band was created for reason other than just the music. There was something more important behind it, like the message and the belief of the people involved into the band. And online, for me personally, that's what trade is by trying to reinforce like, all the belief and it was the catalyst for me to pass through all my energies, message and all the things through the most extreme kind of self. Very selfish uh, reason. It's a, as I said, it's a catalyst. So I had to spread something out of me to receive another kind of energy as well. If people like it, that's good. If they don't, I don't give a shit. It's still for, for me and for the other guys that we are doing that in the first place. We have fans, that's good. If we don't, it's the same for me. Success. Well, it's doing what you want to do, what you love to do without betraying yourself. Point. Enthrone has been through a lot of challenges. I would say that the <laughs> Enthrone is one of those bands who are through the most challenges. We faced every challenge you can imagine. We lost friends, like who died, uh, lots of lineup changes, changing labels, changing this, that and that. But what keeps us going forward is like we do that for our own and with honesty. That's it. Like um, the day we will not feel right with what we do or that we don't feel like it anymore, we will stop. But there's not a single challenge now that uh, stops me of continuing what we do. So, bring it on. <laughs> well, for several years I was the main songwriter, but uh, since um, Neil Up joined the band, um, the fan balance, uh, it was the first guitar player who joined the band who like, had a guitar style that really was complete. Really completing mine, and uh, from that day on, like I wasn't the only one to compose in the band. And since, uh, we, have the studio and since we have the studio, and since those guys joined the band, like everybody puts his own thing in the band. Of course, everybody else has to agree or feel the same thing that that person wants to bring in. We got in the lyrics. I write mostly all the lyrics, and it depends. It's uh, really depending on the song, the situation, the theme. The only particular thing we did was with the album Pentagrammaton, like all the lyrics were written before and we did some kind of translation of uh, the lyrics into music. That was quite a complicated thing to do but it was an interesting experience and you can hear it on the album, that album is some kind of way different from the other one just because of that fact. But we don't feel like doing that every time, that was one time only because we felt like doing that at that moment. Last time it was about all being together for a short time was a pretty yeah. intense process. Yeah, we were like all, to, all together yeah. just for a week. We don't see each other so, so much. But for there, yeah. all in the studio for, I, let's One say, a few, yeah, yeah. two yeah. weeks maybe of composition. And uh, yeah, really intense and uh, in a short time, but spontaneous. Waiting, playing, drinking, talking, doing some interviews. Sometimes it's very annoying people with cameras. And then <laughs> <laughs> it really depends on the tour. Yeah. The yeah. pop bands we are touring and things like that. Sometimes it could be really boring. It could be really it's like a, fun too. Like I would ask you, how is it one day in your life? You know, like every day can be different. For us, it's like that. It's our life. You know? 
So one day you can do this, another day you can do that. If you would do every day the same shit, it would be totally boring. So why would we do that? Yeah, I always take um, this one with me. Always, wherever I go, it was given to me by uh, my mentor uh, years ago. He was wearing this particular amulet during all his ceremonies, all rituals, and I actually do the same since he passed it on. And um, I kind of part way with it, and if I don't have it with me, I, I just, I don't know, I don't feel full, complete. Let's hear plugs. Then I don't, I don't have to hear them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Instruments, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, actually starting to work on the 10th album on Tune for this year, which will be and as well a way to celebrate the 20 years existence of the band. And of course, we'll tour uh, for the release of that album. And before the few, few days planned here and there in Poland and Serbia and here and there. But this album will be as twice special for us as kind of a milestone. Twenty years of existence, ten thousand, all that at once and it's gonna be a, something special. So well, we hope we're gonna show up uh, tonight and uh, if not to the next time we come uh over Dublin. Those who will be here appreciate the support. <laughs>